Alright, hello the Lord Tunes here. Welcome back to another video. We're playing some more judgments, last judgments. So these guys are just chilling here. I don't know if we want to fight them. That's kind of a lot of them. Um, where are we going anyways? So we're going over here. I might as well fight these dudes. Holy shit, it's a lot. So I'm practicing using the snake style more. Just because it's like probably a lot better than the other form. Holy shit, what the hell happened? Alright, holy shit. Damn, this guy's crazy. Alright, let's get this. See, it's like, look at that, so sick. Look at this. Alright, I haven't done that in a while. Shit, whoops. I hate how, like, the power up is like the sprint button, too. So when I'm trying to, like, sprint sometimes, like, it just powers me up. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, shit, these guys. Alright, let's get this. Here we go. Alright. Can we grab him? Fucking never mind. Alright. That's sick as hell too. Oh now they're scared. Holy shit. I was about to say that didn't even hit him, but then the second part it hit it, you know? Or they hit him, but that's so cool. I like that a whole lot. They just like faint like that. <laughs> we have one more? Okay, I answered it. Oh here we go. Okay, that one actually got him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, everyone else just got it easy and then no he just waste. got kicked in the face. Yeah, and I'm enjoying the snake style a whole lot. It's so fun. Great. Let's see. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah, get him, Kaito. Never mind, they're getting Kaito. Let's get him with a slam. Wrong one. Alright. And the music for this is cool too, I like it a whole lot. But like a two hit and then like a triangle is my favorite. If I can grab it. Hang on. Here we go. That slam in. Never mind. Jesus, I'm about to die. Yeah, we're gonna go eat after this. Here we go. And stay down. Yeah, the slam's kinda nice too, because they be blocking a lot in this game. And I think the grab breaks it. Um, let's see. Get in here, let's go eat and then we'll continue on. This is the restaurant. Okay, now this one. Over here. Ooh, we'll get all this. Alright, that should be good. No drinks. Starving. I'm starting to feel pretty tasty. Thanks. Ah, so that's that. Um, let's keep on going, I guess. Oh, just bumping that lady. So now we're getting more XP per fights, I think, since I just ate. Oh, I messed that up. Alright. Oh, fuck. Hang on, guys. Get that grab on him. That's such a cool finisher, man. Alright. That's sick as hell. I should have done upgrading for this. Cause I did mostly tiger style just cause like I like that whole lot from last game. Those snake things kinda nice. I still don't like crane, man. I don't know, I just don't like it. Um let's see. Skills. Yeah, crane is kinda useless. I don't like it a whole lot. Uh Ooh. Alright, let's do some of these. Let's get on going. Oh, we have more fights. Let's get this. Here we go. Ah, shit. Holy shit, I went flying. Alright. Oops. Oh, shit, what's this guy doing? Give him a little grab. Never mind, a little kick. I wonder if they have a fake out version of that where he slides and misses and they just get knocked out. That'd be cool. Oh, look at that. Did that one shot him? Can use this. All right. Let's see what else we got? Let's just use our basic combo. Really, guys? All right. What do we have now for our points? You see, we're getting a lot of points quick. How much do we need for this one? Um, 
Yeah, not too much. Yeah, look at this, man. We'll get that in no time. Look at this. That shit looks crazy. Isn't that the guy from... Like a dragon? Like one of the side missions, I think. Like the movie star dude? I don't even know. Maybe. And it's been just... Jesus. Alright. Let's see if I can tackle this dude. Or slam him. There we go. God, I like that one a lot. I like a lot of these heat actions in this game. Let's see what we got on this one. Hopefully it's a fake out one. Never mind. Uh, what's this guy doing? Oh shit. Oh yeah, look at Kaito. And stay down. Alright, this should be the mission place, I think. This is it, Tuck. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. I can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? Alright, let's get in there and be done with this. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? There a problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that, fast track right to B rank. Oh, and just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. I can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Relax, Tak. All I gotta do is talk man-to-man -man with Akutsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Well, if it's gonna be that quick, I'll just wait right here. <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> You're shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you want to be friends? Hey, uh, think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. So, you and RK too? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash at Kamrocho, RK is where it's at. Plenty of hotties too. Wow, and all you do is fool around on your phone. Talk about living on Easy Street. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F-minus? The fuck did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. 
I'll show you who's soft, asshole! Sorry. Getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. Private room. What's going on in here? What the hell? So they probably want to search off the tower. Oh, here we go. So look at this, guys. Hey, we'll probably through this over here. Now we gotta find something to climb. Uh -huh. Um. Hmm. What the? Suspicious. Can we use this to climb? I mean, I've seen Yagami jump that high, man. That doesn't look that crazy. Oh, yeah, it is actually. No, you can reach that easily. Oh, yep, some cigarettes and stuff. Here we go. What's going on down here? Hey, where'd that new guy get taken to? Oh, I heard Akutsu-san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. <laughs> Even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? All right. Can I go any faster? Cause this is kind of lame as shit. All right. So there's those guys. Take us clothing. Oh, it's gonna be funny as shit. Hang on, guys. Ah, shit. We lost him. Let's see. Is he still down there? I can't see. Actually, we gotta go this way. Damn, how hard was that slap? Holy shit. Sorry, man. Take a quick breather. Uh, not close this. Let's leave this guy here, I guess. I can't do any takedowns. Looks like some Hitman stuff, guys. Alright. Speaking of Hitman, like, they put the second one on the PlayStation Store for, like, the plus thing. So I might do that here on this channel. Hey, you there! Uh, yes? Can I help you? You better stop fucking around. Didn't I ask you for another round? Another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle. Y yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. Is 
And this guy sounded like pissed and then he sounded hella chill after he asked for a cocktail. Here, sir. Damn, good thing Yagami knows how to make a cocktail, man. But that guy got slumped after just one. Alright, what are we doing next? Well. Hmm. I think... I can't walk through this. Oh, I can, actually. Oh, shit. Damn! One hit? That's crazy. Oh, yep. Take a nap, bud. Oh, yeah, this isn't. I don't know, this isn't too crazy. I can probably just walk up to this guy. I can throw a coin though. No, my coins. Alright, let's take this dude out. That's a good boy. Alright, almost there. Last one. What if you were broke as shit? How would you do this? I don't think I have to take this guy out. We can just walk up here. Okay, no, they want us to take this guy out. Time out. I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. You want to be a civilian again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Want to have the cash to buy your favorite store, pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. 
Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Keep your fucking distance from us. Did you say... us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. Have it your way, then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Hey, get off your asses! Uh... Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was gonna go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. Well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking out of here. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're gonna cut yourself, man. You sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! Oh, yep. Finally some action. That stealth, I don't like stealth in this game. It's just not really good, you know? Alright. Yeah, this fight isn't too crazy, I don't think. Because... Okay, these are weaklings. Oh shit. Never mind. <laughs> Alright. Break a shield. Alright. Damn, that one shot. It's like he was blocking all my hits and then that grab just killed him. Yeah, I like that a whole lot. See, look, they can guard all they want and then I just grab them. Oh, shit. Why they can do that? Alright. Let's finish it off. With a little kick. Or a punch. Holy shit. Fuck. There we go. Alright. Let's do with this. Did I get him with that tackle? Look at this guy. Hey, quit dragging your ass! Right, sorry boss. Yo! Fuck him up, boys! Where did these guys come from? Oh shit. Is that a taser? Oh, hang on guys. I gotta stop walking around. Alright. That's cool. Yeah, the whole main thing for this is like guarding. But I. I don't know, it's kinda hard for me. Alright. Let's see if I can finish this without using an item. Hang on. Power up. Okay. Oh fuck. Ah, shit. I probably should have just healed. Alright, so I'm like switching over to the crane style. It's actually kinda nice for this fight. Just cause like. I don't know why, but they're not guarding as less. Like on my stance. And it's actually doing a lot of damage for some reason. Like, look at that. Hang on, now he's blocking. But it just goes so fast that, like, you can clear a lot of them quick. That's what it's made for. I just never really liked it. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Hang on, guys. Let's get this guy out of here. So when they block, you get, like, stunned. That's, like, the only downfall for this stance. Oh, fuck. When this could tumble. Ah, oh, so that's that. This is the wave I died on. I'm pretty sure it was the last one too. That guy had like no health. No, sir. Come on, let's fucking do this. Alrighty, here we go. Jesus. Yeah, this shit's nuts as hell. It's like so quick and it does a decent amount. Holy shit. That did a lot to me. Here we go. Let's try and come over this dude. Here we go. Alright. And this guy's just blocking. Can I grab him? Okay, there we go. Holy fuck, that does a lot. Um, here we need to heal. I'm so glad I bought these. 
And this fight shouldn't be too crazy. I just like ass at this. Come on, get up. Okay, let's get this. Here we go. Yeah, you always just gotta have good health because they do a lot. Just doing one of those. Alright. Let's stance. Jesus. Yeah, this guy's annoying as shit. I'm gonna get a good grab on him. Fuck, I fucked that up. Oh, that's, there we go. Now that guy's down. He's like the tough one. Just go and heal up. Look at this guy. This guy's pretty tough, too. Shit. Let's go and use this. Alright. Let's finish this. Shit. Hang on. Finally. Look at this guy. Damn, he's five bucks? There we go. understand why you wanted Kaito on your side. Still got anything you want to say, Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. In that case, you better leave us the hell alone. Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. You made quite a mess here. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah. That couldn't have been easy, man. I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yagami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the media term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamarocho more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamurocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <sighs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. I guess we shouldn't have taken RK so lightly, even though they're new to the scene. Yeah. Supposedly some is the one who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex-Tojo. Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan shark, mugging. 
He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. They've got 50 full-time bodies so far, but if you include part-timers and other associates, they may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. Even half that's a lot. The Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it was an RK, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in Kamurocho, huh? Sorry, son's call. Hello? It's Shiosaki. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on Ahara's victim. Ah, oh, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in East Ikebukuro. I'm about to make a quick house call. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. See you sooner than later, I hope. I caught all that. You go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Okay. I'll head back to the office when I'm done. Alright, so that fight was kind of nuts. Um, you know, this game's kind of hard. Like, the story fights... I'm struggling a whole lot. I gotta use, like, a lot of items and stuff. I try not to use them. And then I just end up dying, you know? Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, over here. Go to Genda. Yeah, skateboarding is kind of hard here, man. It's so crowded. Um, yeah, we should be fine. We don't need to buy any more items right now. See, I'm so glad I stocked up, man. That shit would have been nuts. Let's go ahead and do some skills. Fuck, I want to keep doing this, though, honestly. Hang on. But I just want to unlock more stuff. Like, we'll do this one more time. Because once you max this out, it's going to be crazy. You're going to unlock stuff, like, hella quick. See, we're already close on getting this one already. Um, at 200% for that one. It's going to be nuts. Let's go to the office. Oh, perfect timing, Yagami-san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. So let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. Yes? I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office, the attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand, but we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right, but I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari here out. And? Mamiya-san. Scratch that. Yui. You have a charming voice, you know that? I'm sorry, what? See? You did it again. The way you talk, it's like satin and velvet. Any chance I could hear you say a few other things? Do you know how tempted I am to slam the door in your face right now? Oh, don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> that was a terrible strategy. Please, miss. 
I know in your eyes we're just scumbag lawyers defending perverts in court. It was just a paycheck to them, you're thinking. And yes, why should you care? Wow. It's like you read my mind. If you're so perceptive, shouldn't you know it's time to leave? Wait, that's not what I meant at all. Look, that was just an opener. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? Just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is 10 minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help, but if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? We'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. Really? <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya-san. Hello! <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. Okay, bye-bye. We'll make this quick. Damn, this is a nice-ass house. Holy crap. What the hell? So can I just sit down or we just kind of look at everything? Hmm. Shouldn't we just... What's this guy up to? Hmm. You know how weird this is? Like, we get invited in and then now we're just taking a look around like this? Uh, what do they want me to do? Hmm. Suspicious. Some photos. Okay. Suspicious. Bike. What the? Hmm. Yeah, there ain't shit here. Why don't we just sit down? Suspicious. Hey. Okay, there we go. Now we can sit down. So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No, what you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, uh, perhaps. <laughs> Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. 
Not to pry, but where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best to. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At, at least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? Your lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. In the security footage, as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal for the train to be that packed. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. To the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why would you say that and look at me? I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait over there for Mommy. We're almost done. You said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station. Did you see the Groper's face at any time during that span? No. I was too terrified to look. A and I thought, even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the station's security cameras. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? This cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed, that man grabbed me! I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out, so I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. What do you mean? Despite what we just went over, wouldn't you say this contradicts your account of the incident? I'm not sure what you mean. Did I say something odd? No, Yagami-san is currently the odd one here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that wasn't what I had in mind at all. If you'll allow me to rephrase. Despite what we just went over, 
Wouldn't you say this? I'm... no. Oh, if you'll allow me to... Despite what we... I'm... no. Oh, if you'll allow... Well, on the same day, at 6.30 a.m. in Yokohama, a student teacher named Hiro Mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother. But he was soon abducted near his home, only to be found dead much later in Ijincho. Is that...? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. His kid was about to graduate high school, but instead, he took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's torment. That's awful. But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <sighs> but there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was, in fact, your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... Who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. I'd like to report Mamiya-san's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right. Then I'll see you there. Yo, it's me. Hey, I just got back to Comrade Joe. Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's with you? You worried RK got to me or something? I mean, they did run their mouths about stabbing us in the back. But if you're good, I'm good. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda so Sari-san and I can go over what we learned from Mamiya. You're the boss. As for me, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> you do that. Alright, so that's that. Uh, I'll probably end the video here. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'll see you guys in a bit.